good? Yeah. All right. Um, do any of you know how many fires that firefighters were able to respond to in previous years? No? Good, because I would have messed up my whole speech. Okay, so, um, the NFPA, National Fire Protection Association, surveys fire departments from the United States of America um, each year, and they get like national projections of how many fires that firefighters were able to respond to. So, in 2012, um, the 3,000 fire departments that um, responded to or participated in the survey responded to 1.3 million fires which is like a decrease from the previous year of 2011. All right so that's pretty much all the facts because nobody really cares about those. Okay so um, now I can introduce myself. Hello everybody I'm Daniel McDonald, Daniel Lee McDonald um, and I'm a fire protection, administration, and technology major here at California State University of LA. Um, and for centuries, firefighters have been using protective gear, much like this helmet, to protect themselves from extreme heat, um, embers, and falling objects. Um, this helmet here, which I brought to um, represent the entirety of the protective gear, um, can withstand heat of over 500 degrees Fahrenheit or roughly 260 degrees Celsius for those of us who don't use Fahrenheit to measure temperature. Uh, okay, so a firefighter's mission is to protect and serve and life and property and the protective gear acts as a shield. It represents safety and protection. So, um, there have been many alterations within the fire protective gear since the first firefighter donned it. It consists of boots, turnout pants, the coat, suspenders, a helmet, and goggles and gloves. And the equipment is designed to withstand extreme heat. And by donning the equipment, a highly skilled professional is able to protect life and um, prevent further damage to property as well. Uh, ever since I was a child, I've always wanted to be a firefighter because I looked up to all the people within the department. And I also like doing service work. And since those two go so well together, I can live up to my dream of becoming a firefighter as well as doing service within my community and the community around mine as well. And by earning a degree in, within this major, which I told you was fire protection and administration, um, I'm able to go into a field, this field, and also receive a higher pay, as well as be in a position of higher power. And with that, I can become a fire chief, arson investigator, or anything within the field that I feel as though I'm able to help the most with. And let's review what I touched on. So in my speech, I talked about protective yield, how it functions, and how it relates to myself. And I like to end my speech with the Nilla model that most firefighters go by. And it goes like this. Um, you run out, we run in. Believe me, it sounds way better with like a group of firefighters saying it. <laughs> All right, thank you.